this whole uh, Will Smith shit. You feel me? Hey, man, that nigga Michael Jackson, bro. You feel me? That nigga Michael Jackson, bro. That nigga set me up, bro. On everything I love, that nigga set me up, bro. You feel me? That nigga is tripping, bro. That nigga be on some other shit, my nigga. Like, straight the fuck up. What are you talking about, my nigga? You raped me as a kid, you bitch-ass nigga. You raped me as a kid and you raped all my kids, nigga. And you still trying to motherfucking get away with the shit, nigga. What do you mean? I'm sitting right here, bitch. Every time I see you, I want to slice your neck, motherfucker. You you really, really have to understand what the Bible says, bro. The Bible says, it says, honor your mother and your father for your days are long, nigga. I ain't killed you for that reason, bitch. Don't you ever get on a motherfucking TV show and act like I'm the motherfucking rapist, nigga. When you rape me, bitch. You raped every fucking body. Ho ass nigga. What are you talking about? Hey guys, we need y'all help. Please donate to Cash Tab B near Charlie to support the family at this time of need, man. We really thank y'all for watching all my videos and supporting me each and every day. And we just ask for your support today. Don't forget to go to the description box and just so continue to support. Yo, y'all gotta be safe out there, man. You heard me? Yeah, I gotta do right, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's how I gotta come in the shovel, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm wrapped up, G, you know what I mean? 100% cuz. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen to me, man. I know it's a, a little thing going on everybody at the crib right now. You know what I'm saying? Got to drink you plenty of this good water right here. You know what I'm saying? For everybody out there that's losing their jobs and situations like that. You feel what I'm saying? I got the programs right there in the link. You know what I'm saying? In the description, man, for some online money. If you just lost your job, man. But y'all see me. I got the mask. I got the gloves. I got all this stuff right there in the description box if you need it. You know what I'm saying? I'm locked and loaded over here. You feel me? I'm not playing. No gangs out here. You dig what I'm saying? I'm, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? We got them all, man. You know what I'm saying? We we ready out here. You dig what I'm saying, cuz? You got you to gotta be scrapped up out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We ready, though. You know what I'm saying? I got all this stuff for y'all. All this good stuff in the description box, man. And like I always tell y'all, man, y'all want to keep y'all body 100% tough and right in a good way. You know what I mean? So you got to have that good sea moss and all that good stuff. The black seed oil. You know what I'm saying? I got that black seed oil right in the description, man. I got everything down there that y'all need, man. I also got the gloves, the masses. Whatever you need, I'm going to make sure you straight. And if you're trying to make some extra paper, go in the description and find something that fits you. And sign up and go down there and get into the programs. You did what I'm talking about, man. But we got a hell of a show today, man. I just had to let y'all know, man. You got to get your stuff. I got the black wall net, which I know about. They get your stuff all cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? The black wall nut. Hey, guys. I want to welcome y'all to the show. Y'all tuned in with Billionaire Charlie. And today, we're going to talk about real estate. And I wanted to talk to people. There's a lot of great tips and things that I'm about to show y'all in this great video. Y'all need to stay tuned through the whole video. We got a lot of clips of homes, different videos, just letting y'all see the money that's involved in the investment that you put into these homes to make a flip. It's all about bettering your life and being able to do these things the right and proper way. And I'm going to guide you and take you on this mission and this journey to be able to put you in position to understand the real estate market. Today is going to be a great and blessed one for y'all. I want y'all to go to my description box. I got some amazing programs and guys that's going to align y'all to getting and purchasing the homes that y'all need to flip and to make some extra money on. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. I really thank y'all for coming in and supporting me. But today's show is going to be unbelievable. Lots of information for you to digest. And it's all about putting food on the table for your family. Putting food on the table for everybody to be able to eat by your great and amazing investments. Today, we're going to go on a class and we're going to learn today. So put your headphones on or look at your phone or look at your TV and let's learn all the techniques and tricks about this real estate market. 
And I thank y'all for tuning in to being there, Charlie. This is going to be a great day. Which will tie into the, what we're going to get into later. But basically your background and uh, what your first investment was like to how many you have now and how many deals you've done sure. with Robert. So I was super confused out of university. I barely got you know, to school. Uh, my parents never graduated from college. So, um, you know, I got there through sports and, and, uh, when I, when I first got out, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I, I ended up while I was a senior in college, uh, managing an apartment building. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the guy's like, Hey, you know, free rent. I go in, you know what I mean? <laughs> so literally that's how I started. So yeah. I, I got on site and I was managing, and I didn't know what I was doing. But I grew up uh, doing a lot of construction, so I knew how to fix stuff, and um, and I also knew that people needed to pay rent, and if they didn't, they you know mm -hmm. you needed they needed to be out. So property management is not that difficult, um, but there's a lot to it, and so that was my very first uh, experience around real estate, and. So from there, I was managing a 60-unit building, and I remember like about two months into it, the owner drives up in his new Mercedes, and he comes in, really awesome guy. And he's like, hey, thank you for increasing the occupancy and cleaning this place up, and, you know, and I already knew how much money I had, you know, increased for him. And uh, I just really was like, wow, like, well, I'm on the wrong side of the desk here, you know, like, how do I get on that side? You know, seriously, I, I had no clue. Mm -hmm. I was about ready to graduate. And uh, so I got my real estate license, uh, went to work for a company in Seattle, which is where I'm from, and worked for them for 10 years and learned, I managed about 20,000 apartments wow. uh, up and down the Western United States after I got my real estate license, and that was an incredible experience. And so at some point, I just decided, okay, I need to start owning these, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I started small, like I think a lot of people should. I started with a, you know, a single uh, home, and then duplex, fourplex, eight units, you know, and now, you know, now we have uh, about 10,000 apartments uh, valued to right around a billion dollars. Wow. So it's just been crazy. 250 employees where, you know, we build them, we buy them, we renovate them. We do, we have yeah. our own property management company. So it's been quite a journey. It's been mm -hmm. awesome. It's been a great industry for me. You know, I've been living passive income my whole life. Yeah. Um, and so when I met Robert and Kim, you know, I was raising money. And, um, you know, as you do, you quickly run out <laughs> as you, <laughs> you know, you can only save so much mm -hmm. and invest. And so I was looking for investors and, and um, somebody introduced me to them and, and Robert was super clear that uh, one property management was super important and most investors don't believe that. Mm -hmm. um, so we completely aligned there because that was my background. Mm -hmm. And second, uh, passive income, cash flow, you know, as opposed to capital gains. And I tell you what, we just became lifelong friends after that yeah. 20 years ago. Uh, they've been investing with us. We have thousands of investors now. Uh, they've been investing with us for 20 years and it's been awesome. And uh, that's how I got involved with Rich Debt. Yeah, and then that's one thing I love is the fact that you said you went from going to that side of the desk of just managing the properties to now, you know, investing your own, finding partners, raising capital. And so that's when you can see it can be done. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, it's super scary along the way every time. I mean, you know, I mean, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And to be able to put yourself out there and ask questions and, you know, try to find mm -hmm. mentors and things, that's all how I did it. I mm -hmm. did it super organic. The internet wasn't around at that time, and, you know, you, you just got to um, ask. Yeah. And then how, and how many units do you have right now? Um, we're, I think we're around 7,000 now. Wow. Uh, we were at 10 about a year ago. We sold. I yeah. sold about $350 million worth of stuff in the last 12 months. That's awesome. And I know Robert and Kim always... Oh, like give you the credit to their success in real estate because they basically don't even look at the deals and you just help them find them and they're able to give you the money so that it's not taxed and reinvest their capital gains and you help facilitate that yeah so yeah awesome. it's really uh, it didn't start that way mm -hmm. uh, I mean they were super diligent um, you know before when we first got together, they were going to the properties with me, understanding the numbers, okay. and, and you know. But then, you know, after a couple of years, mm -hmm. then <clears throat> you, you kind of build this trust in this relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, in the beginning, they were 
very diligent yeah. on, you know, and I think that's what happens a lot of times is people throw their money around, um, you know, and they can get burned. Okay. And you mentioned earlier that you sold um, a couple units of, of your units. Why? Is there a specific reason yeah, you did that? Yeah, yeah. Well, so real estate is a timing thing. So, you know, you have to get everything 